What is the meaning of value added? Yes, that is what we are going to discuss now. You are welcome to Econ Icon. Daniel Christian producing T-shirt for the market. The value of a one T-shirt is $50. He is producing that T-shirt using production factors. Some of these factors are the final output from other factors. A farmer producing cotton, and he is selling that one unit of cotton for $10 after that using that cotton one producer produce yarn, that one unit of the yarn selling price is $15, do you have any idea why yarn price takes over that cotton price, oops, yes you got it. That yarn produced by using cotton. That is why the price is going to increase step by step. On the other hand, another producer producing clothes by using yarn, the price of the clothes unit is $25, and using these clothes Daniel Christian can produce t-shirt to the market, now carefully understand you are not going to consume cotton, yarn, or cloths. Actually you need a t-shirt. That is the final production, other productions are intermediate, all producers add some value to this intermediate input, and finally produce consumption good. Cotton production is an agricultural production according to SNA 2008 standard that considers as unincorporated and also that income identity is mixed income, the value of one unit of cotton $10. We discussed cotton production. That production becomes the input for producing yarn. This production is a corporation. If you need to calculate value added of this production, reduce the value of the intermediate inputs from the total value of production. So what is intermediate input that's cotton the total value of production is $15, intermediate input is $10, then value added is $5 on the other hand, this $5 includes salary, rent, interest payment, and also profit. We have to add the net value of taxes for this production. Subsidy reduces tax on production that is the way we can find out the net taxable value. Just look at the calculation yes that is value added dot that is $5. Yarn use is an intermediate input for producing clothes. If you need to calculate value added of this production, reduce the value of the intermediate inputs from the total value of production. So what is intermediate input? Yes, that is yarn. The total value of production is $25, intermediate input is $15, then value added is $10. Clothes use is an intermediate input for producing t-shirts. If you need to calculate value added of this production, reduce the value of the intermediate inputs from the total value of production. So what is intermediate input? Yes, that is clothes. The total value of production is $50, intermediate input is $25, then value added is $25. So the final consumption output is T-shirt, this whole production process arise these values. That include mixed income $10 salary $8 rent $8 interest rate $8 profit $8 net other tax $8, the value of this production process generate id $50, and also the final production value also similar to $50, then you can understand there are two types of sectors is there. That is an unincorporated and corporate sector. On the other hand involvement of government sector is also intervention there. Government taxes and subsidy add value for this production process. The term value added describes the enhancement a company gives its product or service before offering it to customers. It can be considered as an extra special feature added by a company or producer to increase the value of a product or service. Value added applies to instances when a firm takes a product that may be considered homogeneous with few differences from that of a competitor, if any and provides potential customers with a feature or add-on that gives it a greater perception of value. For instance, a company may add a brand name to a generic product or produce something in a way that no one has thought of before. Adding value to products and services is very important as it provides consumers with an incentive to make purchases, thus increasing a company's revenue. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Subscribe to the channel.